Eggnog, a combination that uh, is concocted with some odd ingredients and holiday nostalgia. Most people buy it. But many eggnog drinkers say it's best when you make it yourself. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes explains. It's not the most intuitive combination. Eggs, cream, and booze. Maybe that's why eggnog gets a bad rap. Washington-based mixologist Derek Brown says you really haven't tried eggnog until you've tried eggnog made from scratch. His keys are fresh ingredients and good spirits. The one thing that I advise is keep the spirit brown because that adds rich, richness to it. It likely is an indicator that it has barrel age to it, which adds stuff like vanilla and um, spicy characteristics. While brandy, rum, sherry, bourbon, or a combination give eggnog a kick, the original idea of adding alcohol hundreds of years ago was probably so the mixture wouldn't spoil. Eggnog has British origins, a descendant of a drink called posset, essentially hot milk and liquor. Early Americans, including George Washington, gave its popularity a boost on this side of the Atlantic because ingredients were easy to find. They had uh, dairy, they had cows, they had uh, chickens and eggs, and so this was readily accessible for them to make um, at a certain point and became a popular drink, especially in colonial America. The colonists' preferred spirit was rum. Since then, there have been plenty of variations. Some people add, you know, vanilla extract. Some people add different spices to it. Some people put cinnamon on it. Some people put nutmeg. Um, some people use bourbon. Some people you will use brandy. I think in each case, people can have their own little twist on it and make something really delicious. As for its link with the holiday season, the creamy decadence makes it a special occasion beverage best served when the weather is chilly. You know, I didn't know they had video cameras back then. I don't that know how we got that amazing. footage. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty interesting.